Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We are back here on Telos in the uh, the Handmaiden area and we need to quickly get to Atris and uh, Kraya before they kill each other. So we're going to quickly run back here. Um, is there a workbench around here somewhere? I think there is. I just wanted to check my lightsabers because I think I've picked up a few extra things uh, along the way that we can use. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, lab station. Uh, I think there's a workbench here as well. Is this a, yeah, here we go. Here's a workbench. So let's quickly use the um, workbench to upgrade items. Uh, I think this is the lightsaber we've got equipped. Let's upgrade the item. There was something here, the lens. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of lenses here. So there's the improved vibration lens for... Um, 2 to 12 bonus damage is amazing. And there's the Ossus dueling lens. Blaster, uh, blaster bolt deflection plus 3. We're going to take a negative to the defense bonus here uh, for the 2 to 12 energy damage. Um, let's go and assemble that one. And we've got the purple lightsaber here, so let's upgrade this one. There's a lot that we can uh, add to this. Jezra Star Crystal. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oops. Uh, Jezra Star Crystal here, plus 4 dexterity, plus 3 strength, plus 5 wisdom damage, plus 3 for the light side. Beautiful, we're going to grab onto that one. Uh, let's use the Ossus Dueling Lens here for the extra bolt deflection. And we've got an emitter here as well for stun. Beautiful. Okay, let's assemble that. Uh, we're going to close this. And now let's go and have a look um, at our lightsabers here. Uh, 18 to 58 damage and 12 to 30 damage. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's let's see if um, we can sort this out. Love the little hologram there. I guess that's a hologram of uh, Telos. Uh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? We're going to head through here. And now we do need to go to the meditation chamber. Which, when we came here the first time, it was closed. It looks like the door is open now. And um, looks like our party members haven't joined us for this journey either. So we're going to be facing them alone. Uh, where is Kraya? She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they're mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Okay. Atris, you fall into the dark side. Surely you see that. Atris? That is not who I am. Not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. Uh, what happened to you? The old woman you travelled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here, and that you would face me in battle. Uh, there's no reason for us to fight. She said you were the last obstacle to my enlightenment. If I wished to truly face the Sith, to see their heart, then that meant facing you this last time. Uh, she's just playing you, Atris. Uh, did she say where the Sith were striking from? I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. Uh, you have placed everyone in Citadel Station in jeopardy, Atris. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith. And wipe them out. Forever. Uh, what plans are you talking about? These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. All the knowledge of the Sith, 
gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the Outer Rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. And when the Sith are defeated, what then? When the Sith are destroyed, then I shall rebuild the Jedi Order again. They shall have none of the weaknesses of before. They shall be strong, willing to take battle to any who oppose them and weaken the Republic. They shall not train those who are easily corrupted. No more students that will bring war and hate to the galaxy. Uh, Atrus, you will make the Jedi into the Sith. The Sith are the Jedi, the Jedi are the Sith. What matters is that they be preserved. All the law, all the teachings brought to a new generation. I am the last of the Jedi, and I will show them this truth. Bring it <clears throat> to the galaxy. Um, I'm not sure if it's worthwhile continuing to try and uh, convince her. It sounds like she's uh, pretty determined uh, to fight. I did not flee. I did what was necessary to fight the Sith and preserve the last of the Jedi. And you left the Jedi to die on Qatar. Yes. I sensed what would happen on Qatar. It was I who leaked knowledge of its presence in the hopes of drawing the Sith out. I will not deceive you. I knew what could happen there, but it had to be done to make the Sith reveal themselves. But I did not know the extent of their power, and what that meant for the Jedi. I will not underestimate them again. You are responsible for the murder of an entire planet. As are we both. You, who brought the screams of Malachor to the galaxy, do not preach to me. You lead by example, you always have. You knew what was necessary at Malachor V, and the stakes in this war are higher than you know. It is a war of extermination, of total annihilation. Um, okay, why did you not warn the Jedi what would happen? They knew the risk, because they sought to hide, to reflect, to hesitate while our numbers thinned and Jedi died. They knew the risks in going to Qatar, and they deserved what happened to them. It was their punishment for hiding from the galaxy, for hiding from me. Uh... Okay, they deserved no such death, no one did. Did they? I think you were wrong. They're the same questions, the same thoughts you have had. Who are these Jedi who survived the Jedi Civil War? They're not the Jedi I know, the ones I once worshipped. They are cowards, and doubters, and afraid. What manner of Jedi hide from a threat? Who turn on their own, and imprison them on dead worlds? Okay, I will not fight you. Surrender and I will spare you. Surrender? To you? Never. Let us end this. Alright, I didn't think there was much um, use in chatting with her. Let's go with the dueling shield and uh, quickly go with the a couple of master flurries here. Kill me. End this. Uh, after everything you've done, I'm not letting you off that easy. I'll not kill a helpless opponent, Atrus. I did not expect mercy from you, here, at the end, after all that has happened between us. Uh, we've greater problems, Atrus, and there has been an enough killing. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? Uh, what happened to you? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. I think perhaps we have both been guilty of such things. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. Okay, I um, mean, never does, until you realize you've lost your connection with everything else. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me, and yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Okay, where, where's Kraya? 
Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. <laughs> You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Um, I still don't know where she's gone. Where has she gone? Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5, to finish what you started. Uh, what I started? Yes. You are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. Uh, what does this have to do with Kreia? Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force. Greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. Uh, why would Kreia do that? I do not know. But she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. Ah, uh, who is Kreia? She is one of the Lords of the Sith. One of those who murdered the Jedi. And she holds the death of the galaxy in her hands. Um, how's that possible? Because she has gone to Malachor. She is waiting for you there. But you will not survive, Telos. Nothing will. It is because the greatest of her apprentices comes to Telos, and he will destroy everything, just as he destroyed Qatar and all the Jedi gathered there. Okay. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, or end my life as I wish to end yours? Okay, I will do nothing except to tell you that I'm sorry I did not realize that the Mandalorian Wars would hurt others that had known me and cared for me. Um, I need you to see what you've become and turn away from it. You'll answer for your crimes before the council and then you shall return to your prison. Okay, I shall leave you here to these holocrons. They are Sith and they do not abide failure. Uh, nothing except end your life. Oh, what shall we do? Um, uh, you, you will answer for your crimes before the council and then you shall return to your prison. Very well. It is more than I deserve. Perhaps they shall grant me exile. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. No, I could not bring myself to tell her. It would have changed nothing. And because I was afraid. You know what lies at the heart of Malachor 5. I had thought it was in the past, yet it has become the future. And all that has happened there will happen again. And that is why I cannot bear it. Because it is Malachor 5. And because she was lost there once. And I fear she will be lost again. I do not understand why the Sith permit such teachings to exist. They cause only echoes. Wounds in the Force. A beacon? For who?
we have here. I didn't believe it when Linu reported the Ebon Hawk at dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Zeron! I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. How did this happen? It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared, and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate residents and workers. It's a good thing you got us that fuel from Slayron, because if we didn't have it, we'd probably be falling apart. But there's still another problem. The Citadel's no battle station. It wasn't built to withstand this sort of attack. If we can't stop the attack, we'll be going down in flames. The Sith numbers seem limitless. But we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. Um, have you heard any word of reinforcements? Uh, we need to get to the Ravager. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodor. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where is he? I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck. Okay, so we need to get to the entertainment district and uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Citadel Station Suburban. I haven't been in this area before. Okay. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going. There's Mandalore. Uh, Atten. What's wrong with you, Atten? Um, let's heal him up. Atten seems to be in a little bit of trouble. There we go. Uh, what is Mandalore doing here? I must leave you for a time to gather my Mandalorian warriors. We will rejoin you when the time comes for the assault on the Ravager. Uh, watch your back. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. Look after your own health. And he's gone. All right. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, around here. This is a, a new area. There's uh, Major Rikens here. So, we meet again. I hardly expected to see you again. Here of all places. And uh, he was on uh, Onderon. What are you doing here, Captain Rikon? Major, actually. And I have you to thank. Queen Talia saw fit to promote me for my service. When the TSF sent out a distress call, I gladly volunteered to lead a strike force. Uh, where's the rest of your force? My troops have already gone ahead and infiltrated the urban module. From their last transmission, they're almost to the TSF station. Uh, I'm headed there as well. Perhaps they'll be able to join up with it's me. It's a possibility, but right now, we need them to stop the Sith from sabotaging the fuel control systems. If the Sith succeed, it won't matter what we do. Citadel Station won't be able to stay in orbit. At the moment, that seemed to be the most pressing need. The TSF do their jobs well, but they are not professional soldiers. They're not properly equipped to deal with this. My men have come under heavy attack in the urban module and taken some casualties. If they can't accomplish their mission, we'll be in some trouble. In that case, if you find my men and they are in need of assistance, please help them. Okay. Um, we'll see what we can do. All right, men. The Sith are trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. Uh, is he gonna run off? If you want to get through to the eastern part of the module, you better get going. All right. What's going on through here? There's uh, battles happening everywhere. Kunda militia. We've got. Um, should we help him out? Should we help him out? I think we should. Okay. Ah! 
Okay, we have leveled up as well, so let's have a quick look. Unarmed Specialist level 7. Uh, I'm definitely not putting away my lightsabers, so we're not going to use that. But uh, let's go Computer Use, Awareness, Persuade, and Security. We also get another power. Um, is there anything else we really want here? We don't have Effect Mind yet. Uh, might be a little bit too late for that, but let's go with Effect Mind. And accept that. Level 10 uh, Jedi Master at the moment. Sealed module door. I guess we can't get through there. I'm going to leave the frag mines there because they're probably a defensive uh, structure there. Okay, let's head to residential module. Um, okay. Unfortunately, we can't, uh... Thank goodness you're here. You just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Thanks. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Where are the turrets, anyway? Uh, there we go. It's going to take out these turrets, uh, first of all. I think Atten's taking a little bit of damage, so we'll see if we can heal him up. And I might just use the Master Flurry here. There we go, take out that turret over there. And uh, we'll run around and take out the rest of them as well. It's not going to be too oh, too tricky to do. Let's go and do that. I hear you. Uh, Atten is taking a bit of damage. Where are the rest of these guys? What the hell happened to them? I thought they were right behind me. Obviously not. Uh, do we have any med packs? Didn't really do a lot there, did it? Uh, maybe one more. There we go. Okay, we've uh, cleared out the Sith. I was expecting a little bit more help uh, from the uh, the military there, but that's okay. Uh, there are some remains that we can pick up. Let's go and grab them. Uh, a violet crystal. A door just opened somewhere. And who's this guy? Was it this door that opened? Oh, to the entertainment module. Okay, I guess this is where we do need to go. Onderon soldier. He's wounded. Are you alright? Well, I'm not dead. I guess that's something. I got hit by a grenade. I, I just barely missed the whole blast. Uh, where are your squad mates? They're, they're moving ahead towards the TSF office. It's tough going, though. The, the Sith, they seem to be everywhere. Okay, let's treat injury. Well, that's a relief. Of course, if we can't stop the Sith from destroying the fuel controls, it won't matter one bit. No, I'm going with you. I'm not doing anyone any good here. All right, then. Let's go. He still looks pretty bad. He still looks pretty shaken up there. Let's go and... Can I heal up again? Where is he? No, it didn't work, did it? Okay, never mind. Um, module door. Can we get out? Aha. All right. Let's take him out. There we go. There's going to be Sith all around the place. I wonder if we can get into the cantina. Oh, that's the merchant. Now, let's put these guys to sleep. As many of them as we can. There we 
we go. Everyone down! Ah, uh, the canteen. I wonder if the merchant's still here. Do you think he's still here? Let's go and have a look. Oh, there's a uh, Sith in here. Well, the merchant is gone, as expected. Uh, there are some remains here. They've left something behind. Let's go and pick them up. Uh, poison rocket there. And is there anything else? Construction kit. Oh, that's right. There were two merchants in this area. The two brothers. And uh, they didn't like each other. Uh, there's probably more Sith in the cantina. Let's go and have a look. No, that's locked. We can't get to, uh, into the cantina at the moment. The TSF office is not too far away from what I remember. How is it through here? Yeah, it's just around the corner here. Uh, we better save the game. Um, under on soldier. This area is secure. We can take it from here. Okay, no worries, buddy. Um, just want to make sure. Well, they haven't done a good job of uh, securing this area. Who's this guy? Who's this person back here? Dark Jedi Apprentice. Let's put all of these to sleep, and uh, then we're going to deal with the uh, the Dark Jedi Apprentice here. Let's go with Master Night Speed first of all. And okay. More where that came from. Okay, we've uh, cleared out this area pretty quickly. I want to check the remains on this uh, Dark Jedi apprentice here. Double bladed lightsaber, and uh, we've got uh, some credits here as well. There's, is there anything else? Uh, lying around. Environment underlay mark 5. And uh, there we go. Okay. So I think these are the TSF holding cells. Oh, we can't use the console. Um, okay, where else do we need to go? Uh, there's the, the locker room, isn't there? Over here. The armory. This area is secure. We can take it from here. Hmm, okay. It's not, there's nothing here at the moment. Okay, so we've secured the TSF office, uh, which is good, and there's nothing around that corner there. Uh, we might as well pick up the remains as we run back. There we go. Job done. Where else do we need to go? We need to get to the docking the module. These rank and file soldiers will do you no good aboard the Ravager. Let we Mandalorians lead the charge into battle. And to victory. Kelborn, Zuka, you will be joining us. You will not face this alone. I will go with you and be by your side. Um, good. Stay close to me. I would have it no other way. Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice, and I know that ship. It was a Malachor 5.
the Sith vessel and are securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. I know what it meant for you to accompany me here, Candorus of Clan Ordo. Your trust honors me. If you betray me or my men, I will kill you. I was going to say the same, Candorus. And uh, Candorus was with us in the first game. He's now uh, turned into Mandalore, the leader of the Mandalorians. And uh, we are here on the Ravager. And uh, we have some unknown task to do here, apparently. Destroy the Ravager. Uh, okay, the four proton cores. Uh, we must set four proton cores throughout the Ravager vessel in order to destroy it. And they must be placed in strategic locations uh, throughout the ship. So we're going to do that in the next episode. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough. I'll see you all again soon for Knights of the Old Republic 2.